Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the program. Today we are going to talk about a rather serious topic, the future. What does the future hold? Today we are going to make some predictions. Maybe someday man will look back on such predictions. The year, as you know, is 1945. One hundred years from now, it will be 2045. It is difficult to imagine the state of the world in one hundred years. As we have seen before, the world has changed drastically in the past 100 years. Just 100 years ago, in the year 1845, the concept of self-powered flying machines seemed as ridiculous an idea as ever to many. Through this great industrial revolution, the world has seen more change than ever before. Keep this in mind as we go over our predictions for the next 100 years. In 100 years, I predict that man will have stepped foot on other celestial bodies, such as the moon and the planet Mars. In 100 years, I predict that the average man will get his news and entertainment from a variety of sources. Big companies will no longer have a monopoly on the news and entertainment people enjoy. I predict that in 100 years, cars will no longer be constrained to the ground. They will have the ability to fly in the air at will and the energy that powers the cars will come from the sun. In 100 years, I predict that television sets will get increasingly smaller. I predict that television sets will shrink to the point that they can fit on our wristwatches. I think that in 100 years, there will be film cameras at every street corner. They will be put in place in the name of our safety, but our freedoms will increasingly vanish. We will trade our freedom for safety. We will allow our rights to be eroded because the authorities tell us it will keep our children safe. Now, remember, these are only predictions, not prophecy. Maybe someday a future man will look back on them. Good day.